what's going on everybody welcome back to my channel and in this video i am going to be doing another opening uh, this is going to be a two-part opening so the first part you're going to see here is an opening that i did on friday so i already know what i got but we're still going to just kind of go through it so that you guys can see how the opening went um in this opening i'm going to be opening some basic hero tickets as well as uh 10 more uh tickets of the all might banner still trying to chase down all might and then I have some support tickets as well, as you see right here, I have 12 of those. So I'm probably just gonna pop 10 and then keep it moving. Um, and then, like I said, I'm definitely gonna pop 10 more of these all my tickets because I do have the hero coins to do that. So let's get this started with the basic hero tickets. Still hunting down that first S tier opening. And so we're gonna go here, gonna write down just a big old W on this one. And let's see what we get. So, okay, we pull a Kirishima, which is good because I'm still looking to uh, get one of my heroes up to double S tier, so I still need to do that. So let's go ahead and pop this second stack of 10, and we're gonna go ahead and write another big old W. And, okay, this time we get a Kaminari, and still no S tier. Got some more S tier tokens, which is always good. Um, as well, maybe I'll form an S tier hero that way because seeing as these openings aren't really going my way. But let's go ahead and slide over to these support tickets. So like I said, I have 12 of these. We're just gonna go ahead and just pop 10. See if I can get any more six star type, you know, support cards. Cause again, I need as many good support cards as I can. So we're gonna go ahead and write an M. We get the yellow flash and it's another Midoriya, but it's another Midoriya card that I already have. Uh, which is still good because you can al always fuse those together and um, increase the power of them. But I was definitely hoping to get the other Midoriya card. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to spend these hero tickets. We're going to get 10 more of these All Might uh, tickets. And again, it would be really cool to be able to get All Might. I fought a couple of them in PvP so far, and he's really tough to deal with. Um, so I would love to be able to add him to my roster. But it doesn't look like we're going to get that type of luck. We get another Kaminari and then just another bunch of random uh, hero shards as well. So that's another 2,500 uh, hero coins just kind of flushed down the toilet right there. Um, doesn't feel good, right? Like it takes a really long time to grind those hero coins out. And, you know, again, it's really cool to be able to get some stuff for uh, Kirishima. He's one of the heroes that I use the most, especially in PvP. He's one of the only real counters that I've been able to find for All Might, so, or at least one of the better ones. I can do some things with Majoria, but Kirishima is probably the best counter for All Might right now that I have on my roster. So we're gonna go ahead and just put the hero coins that I got into some of these heroes that I already have on my roster. But yeah, I guess the hunt for the S tier, for my first S tier hero anyways, is just kinda, kinda have to continue. So we're gonna go ahead and put some stuff into Kaminari here and get his hero um, resonance up some more as well. After that, that pretty much ends this opening that I did on Friday. Like I said, wasn't all that exciting. I did get the one uh, six star support card from Midoriya, which is cool, but that's pretty much it. So this is the most recent opening that I did today. I just so happened to, again, get 10 support cards. So. We're gonna go ahead and pop those open. Again, really looking for some luck here. And we're gonna open this up. We're gonna just go ahead and put a nice S on this for some S tier stuff. We get the yellow flash. And yes, we get the other Deku six star card as well as a four star backdraft, as well as another four star in Tiger, another five star in Ectoplasm, and another five star in Combo Fest. So like these are just, and a Shoji. So we got such a good, opening out of these support cards um this is definitely going to be really helpful to my roster just being able to improve on some of the support cards of my other heroes and now we're going to go over to these hero tickets these haven't been kind to me the drop rates haven't been good but i'm still looking for my first s tier so we're going to go ahead and pop these open either way um, i am at least guaranteed an a tier just because this is my 30th pop so let's go ahead with another S and we get Yellow Flash. Okay, we got a Kirishima, which again, good. Kirishima is one of my favorite. And there he is, my very first S tier hero, Todoroki. And Todoroki is so 
just amazing as far as a PVE unit um, from what I've seen and what I've heard. Um, he's probably not going to help me out a ton in PVP, but that's fine. Like I said, I have a lot of PVE stuff that I can still do with him. It's just going to be a matter of like, now I have to make the decision on whether or not I actually want to put in the resources to actually rank up Todoroki because it's going to take a lot to get him even up to level 70 where like the rest of my heroes are. Um, but I, I'm still trying to get Aizawa and it's not looking good. So I don't know, probably by the time I'm done recording this video, I would have made a decision on whether or not I'm going to rank him up or not, but still super excited to have him. Um, I can't wait to start putting support cards on him, being able to use him in different PVE situations. I'll definitely be doing a gameplay of him, but yeah, this is a really good day. You know, I got a number of good support cards. I got my first S tier hero. There's really a lot of things to be happy about with this. You know, I have a couple chips and a couple of affinity things that I can put into Todoroki to make him at least playable, you know, for now. And then I'm just going to have to do the grinding to just get um, the resources to level him up. But that's going to do it for this one. Please be sure to leave a like or a comment if you did enjoy this video and subscribe if you're new. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one.